Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your um, <coughs> late running host, uh, slightly on the back foot again. Uh, that, that's what happens when you you get to work late. You stay at work late, and then you try to hurry up and stream on time. Um, all those lates don't add up to an untime somehow. Uh, so today. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the fruits of the cobble generator. Some changes that were made to that. A smidgen of off-camera block placement. And... <clears throat> going to try to get the frog out of my throat. And uh, my main goal for today is to find out where down there are the slime chunks. Because I know every island has at a minimum one. And with my luck, because I don't really want more than one, I probably have like two, three or so. Uh, which is going to make life kind of interesting uh, as, I, as I build out down there. Because the generator, that's uh, going to go to the, the basement once I get that done. Storage is going to go either to the basement or a floor slightly above. And all those farms up there, the tree farm, the cactus farm, well, I'm going to air quotes on tree farm. That's not really a tree farm. <coughs> uh, a proper tree farm, cactus farm, uh, an actual garden. That's not a, hey, thank you for the raid. Uh, an actual, you know, garden. That, that's not a couple of random plants. Uh, <laughs> how you doing, Genesis? Uh, all that is going to go down below. I kind of hate that I always end up streaming after Medic because it sounds like I'm copying him, but I really want this, the, the original island level to be, to, to be more decorative. Uh, I want all the hardcore farms and stuff down on the basement level down there. And my goal is to turn... The center where the original island was into a little bit of a courtyard uh, with maybe a fountain and some statues and that kind of stuff. And then uh, build out from there. So so build, build buildings and a wall and castles and stuff. And, you know, since Medic started it, uh, I'll build a moat on my side too. But not on Rhea's side. Just, just the one facing where the moat's going in over there. Let me uh, unmute chat now. Did I get that unmuted? Are you there? Nope, not here. Yeah, I'm not either. Okay. Sorry. I, I grow so few of those uh, until I get a proper uh, farm set up. I got to collect them when I can. Uh, a fair number of those guys also went to... Oh, I put them in the chest down below. Okay. Okay. Uh, We'll get to that in just a minute. First things first, you'll notice the cobble generator is looking a little different because I made it too wide, so I've got to double the <laughs> double the out well double the theoretical output. Um, because I'm using a stone pickaxe, I don't always get the second block broken before the first one appears. Um, I was hoping that with two of these, even though my islands only at like level 100 or so. Uh, I was hoping that I would be able to get enough iron out of two of these that I would at least be able to replace an iron pick every time I burn through one. Um, that that hasn't worked out that way. Not even a little bit. So, stone picks for now. I finished a couple of challenges off camera. I, I really try not to do that. Uh, I wanted either on a recorded episode or on a live stream. Uh, but... I, I needed I needed the iron ore, so I, I did a couple of challenges real quick, and that got me enough diamonds that I was able to use a diamond pick while I was cooking uh, my lunch for the week on Sunday night. So I literally just kind of parked my character AFK mining with a diamond pick and let it run while I cooked. Uh, that was that was pretty fruitful. Uh, oh, and in keeping with the theme of season two. Being reminded of the small things. You know, we're not getting as much of the fancy stone as I would have expected. But I'll use some of the granite. 
I'll use some of the andesite. But I mean, what am I going to do with all that diorite? Because who likes diorite, right? This is um, where... Excuse me? Who likes diorite, right? Can, 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 I, can I add something real quick? Uh, save, save your diorite for yard sale day, because... I like diorite for certain things. Yeah, but here's the thing. I really like andesite. I'm not getting enough of it. And when you mix cobblestone and diorite, you get andesite. Mm. So all that andesite, all, all that diorite that I don't want gets me andesite that I do want. Uh, matter of fact, all three of the fancy stones are craftable. Which is one of those things that I always forget, except like, you know, now when I realize, oh yeah, I really could use a little bit more one than the other. So cobblestone and diorite gets the andesite. Quartz and cobblestone gets you diorite. If Who in the world would willingly make that trade? Uh, <laughs> depends. If you got the right kind of quartz farm, you might have more quartz than you know what to do with. This guy would. And quartz and diorite gets you granite, if I remember right. Matter of fact, let, let me just double check that last one. Yeah, it's uh, another quartz and diorite gets you granite. My problem with with the with the diorite recipe and the granite recipe is you don't get nearly as much for what you're putting into it. One diorite block and one nether quartz gets you a single granite. Not two granite, a granite. You know, a cobble and a nether quartz, or sorry, two cobble and two nether quartz gets you a diorite or two diorite? I can't remember now. Di 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 yeah. Oh, uh, no, it does get you at least two. So two cobble and two nether quartz gets you two diorite. That's still not as good as one cobble and one diorite giving you two andesite. That that feels like a, a little bit more of a worthwhile a worthwhile usage of your materials. But I mean, I do each his own. Uh, so the generator, the fancy stones. Uh, not much going on. Up on the top, that, that's just been cranking away. I really want to get more farms set up like this cactus farm that keeps generating as long as anybody's logged in and vaguely close to the island. Uh, yeah, since some people spend a few more, a little more time than I do. Let's uh, head uh -oh. down here to this project. I've nearly got... Huh? I was saying Arcadius, I think he was pointing that towards you. I, I've nearly got this entire floor of my island. So the, the entirety of the area that is marked out for my island, I've nearly got cobbled out, except for that last little bit right there. My goal, and what I'm going to spend most of my time today on, is trying to find where in here are the slime chunks. So what I'm probably gonna do, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here. I got a couple of stacks of smooth stone, enough to fill a chunk. I've got some fence that I can put around it, uh, so that way the slimes don't break loose. And I've got some lanterns to light it up, so that way nothing but slimes show up there. And. Um, I got slabs so I can keep slabbing up that last little area while I wait and see what spawns. So uh, if you don't know already, you hold down F3 and tap G and that turns on the grid where it shows you your chunk borders and the, the grid for the space around you. So we're going to go rather methodical, starting at one con corner. <laughs> Build up a, build up a chunk with uh, with an actual, you know, spawnable surface for slimes, 
and then uh, and then see what spawns there. So from there to there, that's inside the chunk. I, I know I should technically do the edge, but I don't want these falling off. To, you know, the, this twice baked stone is uh, not not as cheap as it will be later. Not as tasty as a twice baked potato either. Mm, now I'm hungry. I didn't get enough lunch today. Or dinner, or either. Of course, <laughs> I I had to laugh at uh, Roger Chang, the producer for Daily Tech News Show. He posted up a Cena article about mac and cheese flavored ice cream. What? <laughs> you, you heard me. Mac and cheese flavored ice cream. I'm all about some mac and cheese, but I don't know about that. <laughs> you, you, you don't want some mac and cheese flavored ice cream? No, no, I'm pretty sure that's a hard pass. Thanks, though. <laughs> that that is a uh, that is a special one. All right. Oh. So if I put the light source, I go one, two, three, four. If I put that here. That will give me uh, 13, 12, 11, 10. Nope, 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 nope. That's nah, not gonna work. I keep forgetting because I'm putting it in the ground. I get a little less coverage out of that. So that puts that corner at eight. Okay. Plus one, two, three, four, and three. One, two, three, four, and there we go. All right? Eight. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but on Twitter they post uh, the Minecraft devs posted an experimental release of one point eighteen. It changes some of the lighting and spawning mechanics. If you are in open sky, so right now, since there's nothing above me, open sky, spawning still works the same. Mons mobs spawn in light level, or hostile mobs spawn in light levels of seven or less. If you are underground or at least under blocks then it changes and hostile mobs will only spawn in light levels of zero so it'll have to be completely dark for hostile mobs to spawn in the experimental release hmm. yeah <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. Uh, well, it makes a torch. Uh, it makes a torch light go a lot further. Makes a torch light go a lot further, and um, it makes it makes some of your lower light level sources a lot more valuable too. Uh, because th think think about the problem with oh. If it's any block over your head, that means you don't have to do... Hello, Beach Duck. ...mad, crazy lighting inside your houses anymore. You can yes. do lighting now. Yes. So you could put out some soul lanterns or something like that. Or one to four candles. I mean... Yep. There are a lot of things you can do now. And... and 
that means that you can do a lot of fancy lighting, mood lighting, without worrying about, you know, I don't know, a creeper spawning inside your house while you're in the middle of building it. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Slightly. Uh, Ray, I would love to. I just realized it's uh, dead. But anyway. <laughs> Somehow, I think a creeper would still manage to find its way into the house. Well, you know, I, I was just thinking about somebody's live stream that I was watching a little earlier. Where uh, they, they were building a house and uh, an unexpected guest showed up. That must have been... Uh... <laughs> someone else because I don't think I built well I mean I had people show up but I, they were completely expected I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was on medic stream oh uh, okay uh, I, and yes I was still there while you guys were going are you there no he's gone no I was there I was just at work I, I, I couldn't you know I could either what? finish what I was working on to get home or chat nah. who, who needs work I mean come on oh. <laughs> <laughs> some of us like eating well that's true Jibba, Jibba is a fatty Pretty sure this is not giving me what I want, but I'll take it. It's not mathed out, but it's a temporary platform, so none of that from the people who normally give me symmetry stuff. <laughs> what? Nobody gives you a hard time about symmetry around here. No. Nope. Nobody. Nobody. All right. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to make some uh, fence gates. I mean, I got a couple. I also meant to get... Uh, No, I forgot something. What else did I forget? Oh, I forgot to get some more uh, cobble cooking. That's that's why I brought that down. Because with my luck, I'm probably going to need to set up a couple of platforms. Because there will be a couple of platforms worth spawning. Alright, no worries. I'll get that done in just a minute. But, um, uh, this is the name of the game. I'll set up a platform. I'll go somewhere else. And we'll see if something spawns. Rinse, repeat. Alright. Since I don't feel like climbing the ladder... Dark oak fence gates. Okay, and I still get a fresh axe. Though, honestly, if there's nothing spawning there right now, that means that that is not a slime chunk. Because there is nowhere else for anything to spawn in. I probably shouldn't be walking while looking up at the sky either. So as long as I'm more than 22 blocks away. 
stuff should be spawning in there. And it's not. So that one is clear. Oh. Uh. Hi, friend. I'm going to hazard a guess that my lighting was not as good as I thought it was. I don't know what clued me in on that one. <laughs> Might want to just put down four blocks and step away from it. That way, you're not building that platform over and over again. Uh, well, because I want to, I want to actually have the chunk ready to use from the word go. Okay. And I don't want to keep running around with grid lines to find out where the grid starts and stops every single time. So once I got the platform up, I know it's good to go. Yeah, that's true. And I'll know where not to build my mob farm. Because that, that's the whole reason why I'm doing this first is I want to make sure I don't build my mob farm in a slime chunk. And <laughs> run into those problems. What? Nobody would run into problems with that. Mm-hmm. Actually, I probably could have just left that last fence up there, but no well. I should probably also do the lighting a little bit better than I did. <laughs> Since I have our uh, resident Star Wars person on hand, uh, Netflix is going to have something uh, kind of interesting for you at some point in the very near future. Okay. It appears that back when LucasArts was still owned by Lucas himself, Zack Snyder wrote up a proposal for a Star Wars movie that took place in the Star Wars universe but did not contain the, the characters most familiar. Uh, it, it wasn't a, a story focused on them. Think more like a extended universe um, type movie. Okay. Uh, Lucas turned it down for reasons not covered by the people I was listening to. And Zack Snyder or Netflix has decided that, uh, or well, Netflix and Zack Snyder together have decided that uh, they're going to remove all the technically infringing parts and produce it. Uh, <laughs> and the mouse is going to let this happen. <laughs> uh, they have. They really have no choice. Because, again, they've removed all the copyrightable parts. Oh, so, you know the mouse. The mouse will find a reason. Mm, <laughs> they've got other problems right now anyway. Do they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got plenty of their own problems right now. Oh, okay. And you got to remember that uh, a lot... <laughs> there, there, there's a lot of stuff that as long as you finesse it just right... There's nothing that can be said, whether they want to or not. Okay. I mean, especially since 
Star Wars itself is a thinly veiled homage to uh, some Kyrgyzara films. Hey, 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 keep that to yourself, sir. And a couple other oh, earlier sci-fi franchises that were uh, in space. We don't talk that blasphemy here, sir. Yeah, well. <laughs> that is uh, that is the way it was. And, uh, you know, part of me is kind of excited because it will be nice to have... Uh, to have somebody with a, a fair bit of experience tackling an extended universe kind of kind of film, it'll be nice to have a uh, <laughs> here's how you open up the universe. Because I mean, let, let's think about it. A lot of the a lot of the most a lot of people's favorite stories are extended universe stories that didn't come from Lucas. Or Lucas Arts. It's true. So, uh, if we can get the same thing to happen on the movie side, that would be nice. <laughs> Sorry. Sneeze there, my bad. <laughs> of course, on the flip side, it is Zack Snyder. And, and he's the same one that gave us the uh, desaturated Superman and, you know, the one that snapped a dude's neck and caused more havoc than the bad guys. And some of the, uh, the other... <laughs> darker and moodier parts of the DC universe. Which was appropriate when he did Batman, but that's because it's Batman. That that's just that's the way he the is. Good, that that's what you get when you get Batman. The, the good old boy should be snapping people's necks. So I do worry about that aspect of it being a Zack Snyder film. Although, I don't know. What are you going to do? Get Joss Whedon to do it? <laughs> uh, if only. <laughs> I mean, you could probably get... Uh, um, who was it? James Gunn? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, that yeah, was James, James Gunn. Gunn. That could work out. Yeah. That's possible. So, other than uh, not being a Disney flick, I, and honestly, given the way Disney's handled some of this stuff, I, I'm surprised you're you're uh, you'd rather <laughs> you'd rather Disney keep. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't, but at the same time, you know. Okay. Don't feel like seeing people get sued over stuff. So. <laughs> the the mouse has lost my respect honestly they lost my respect the minute they came out and the first thing out of their mouth was oh and uh yeah we're, we're gonna get rid of all of the extended universe yep it no longer exists 
Uh, How do you get rid of 500 books, people? I, I, I have some very, very mixed feelings on that one. They could have done it in a way that would have been less alienating, like cherry picking, maybe like yeah, like there, there there's some characters that are absolutely unmitigated that this is canon, whether you know because it's canon. Uh, it would have given them the chance to thin out the Star Wars universe because one of the problems when you have that much. That much, uh, that much cannon floating around is, is it's really hard to, to work in there and get new movies in, in that particular time. One of the, one of the things that really helped the old Republic was not being anywhere anybody had been yet. Um. So, you know, thinning out a little bit of the extended universe goes a long way to giving you a little more breathing space to, to put something together. On the other hand, um, wholesale <laughs> hack and slash is, is not, that, that's not exactly what I would have recommended. Like, yeah, cherry pick. Now, because now you've got now you've got material to work with and material that by and large fans will be okay with. Mm -hmm. Because, well, that's, if you're not cherry picking the stuff the fans will be okay with, why, why are you picking it? <laughs> Fair point. I just, I don't get it. You, uh, you sit there and say, oh, we're getting rid of all the extended universe. You get a massive backlash, and you're, like, only, you know, fixed to this was, oh, okay, you can have one of those characters, albeit, in my opinion, the most important one. I, I, oh, okay, I was, wait, I was waiting for that as part. As a cartoon. I... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't want him as a cartoon. <laughs> CG's expensive, man. And okay, then save your money and get me an actor. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Alan Tudyk can only do so much. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> good guy and all. Love some of his acting stuff, but uh, I, I don't think he'd make a very good Thrawn. I'm just, I'm just throwing that. Out. No, I, I don't think he would either. <laughs> throwing that up. Although he played a bad guy in uh, was it Dollhouse? I think it was Dollhouse if I remember right. He did a pretty good job with that too. Finished that show. I think I um, like season one. That was it. That, that yeah yeah that was it. There was just a season one. I don't like the way you said that. Yeah, it would have been it would have been nice if they could have done more than just one season because they they probably could have gone to some really interesting places. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Why are you saying that? <laughs> uh, well, and I I suspect, but could never prove that part of it was. Uh the curse of a certain director working with a certain company. Mm-hmm. 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 Firefly, what? Uh, and it got canceled before it could make an appropriate impact. That, that sounds way too familiar. Uh, well, I wasn't going to go into too much detail because, you know, it's a little too soon. Too soon, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Always too soon <laughs> with that company. Uh, well, and the kicker is that as a consequence of that, uh, things that he had originally planned to push far into like season three or four or really take the time to build and flesh out 
it got kind of rushed and it got more than kind of sloppy and it suffered for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So season two ended up being a hot mess of all the ideas crammed into one season. It, it would have been better to do a firefly and keep the pacing and just end in the middle. Ah, sadness. I mean, they, they, Particular mammal strikes again. Eh, well, you know. Maybe next century. <laughs> Well, that's... There's a few. Oh, um, and the way they were talking about shows and stuff, I, I I need to look now and see if there's supposed to be another season of The Expanse. I thought it was done. I really did think it was done. Uh, but it sounds like they might be getting another season, and that they are now moving beyond the the original written material. Okay. Uh, for good or ill is anyone's guess. <laughs> um, but but I can't remember if the author is. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any more expanse books, is what it sounds like, and I don't recall why. I can't remember if it's because the author is a. Uh, no longer doing them, or because the author's dead, which, I mean, I guess it's technically a variant on the first one, but, um, it's not, it's not a Game of Thrones situation where the author's there and just not... I, I was about to say, is it the same author? No, 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 no. <laughs> well, obviously not. I mean, the three episodes I have seen didn't have enough, uh... <laughs> Mature rated stuff in it for it to have been the same author, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so, so. I'd say there wasn't some stuff in it, but not enough. Well, no, no, no. For for the TV ser for the TV series, they had to make some changes because of you know the whole things you can do in a book that you can't do in a TV show, things you're going to do in a TV show that you can't do in a book, kind of thing. Uh, I don't want to get the name too of far. This book series. The Expanse. Oh, okay. So it kept its name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, don't uh, laugh. Well, There's no, 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 no. Uh, well, I, I was, I was <laughs> laughing because, unlike, unlike some other adaptations, <clears throat> World War Z, um, it actually shared more than just the name with the source material. Oh. Like they, they stay, they stayed fairly close to it. Um, just some characters that get revealed later in the books are revealed earlier in the, in the TV series and they have to give them something to do. So while they didn't do that in the book, it is within their character to do that at the time we see them, that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, or at least that, that's what Tom Merritt was talking about on Court Killers. Hmm. And, and in this, I generally trust Tom's opinion. I, I also... Where, where, where's Ray asked when... when on a Daily Tech News show, during the pre-show, they were talking about, you know, TV shows that you watch to make you happy, TV shows that you watch when... Uh, you're in the appropriate mental space to watch them. Like Sarah was talking about how she she's enjoying The Handmaid's Tale, but she can't watch it all the time. She's got to be in the right headspace for that. Like, if she's not in the right headspace to to deal with the material, yeah, you know, what's being discussed in the in the show, uh, uh, she'll watch something else. I understand that. And, and, but Ted Lasso, everybody agrees, is one of those shows that. It, it puts a genuine smile on your face. Like, it, it is just one of those things that makes you happy. And should. Um, and then they were talking about how, you know, 
Ted Lasso Season 2 is going to be out soon. And apparently, because I was listening to the audio version, apparently, Tom made a face. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, his wife works for Rotten Tomatoes. So, for her job, they often get sent screeners. And, and so he said, I may have an NDA about six episodes of a particular show. Oh. <laughs> because, <laughs> cause ba yeah, basically, for, for, for her job, his wife got the, the first six episodes of uh, Ted Lasso Season 2 to screen for Rotten Tomatoes, for the show she does for Rotten Tomatoes. Doesn't sound like it was promising. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, well, I don't know because he couldn't talk about it. <laughs> and wouldn't talk about it. Like, like uh, he, he is very much... I'm sorry, I am under NDA. Y you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. the, these are the terms for my wife to keep her job. I like having medical insurance, so I will make sure my wife still has her job. <laughs> Seems fair. Yeah. Like, like I can't hate on that. Um, So, uh, he, he only piped up if anything was, uh, related to the trailers that was, re that were already released. Like, if you're interested in the show, you've already seen the trailers. So, you know, this is not new information. <laughs> yeah, okay, four... And, uh, but anyway, so they got to talking about different stuff and <laughs> the guest wanted to speculate on season two. So she starts off with Tom, mute your face. <laughs> I don't know wow. why that comment made me think of rest. <laughs> I don't know. After uh, after playing some pokerish style game with uh, <laughs> some other siblings not too long ago, I think someone else has her beat on that one. But uh, yeah, so it was Tom. Mute your face. Here's what I think is going to happen in season two. <laughs> <laughs> Except being a proper Brit. It was very proper British. In the tone and, and yeah, it was great. It's also why they had a wonderful discussion about tea in that same pre-show. And, and okay. there might have been some scoffing at uh, what a couple of the American engineers... It's a jack-o'-lantern. It, it's basically a carved pumpkin with a torch in it. <laughs> so it's a jack-o'-lantern. They provide light. Not the kind of enlightenment that keeps me from jumping down to a hole I can't jump out of, but... I wasn't going to say anything, <laughs> but... <laughs> I was like, if he has to go in there, he, he knows he's going to have to, like, break his way out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you know, I got here and there was no coffee made. <laughs> and and I, I only had the two cups at work. And Well, you didn't make coffee? Not at work, no. All I have is a Keurig. Oh, when you get home. No. I, because I got home late, I needed time to eat, shower, and then uh, get get everything ready for the stream. Oh my god! You call yourself a coffee craft member? You didn't even drink coffee? Get out of here! I mean, if only there was somebody who could have made coffee. 
<laughs> I guess Jubba could have done it. I mean, mm-hmm. I oh yeah, yeah. Blame, blame Jubba. He gets blamed for everything. Poor guy. Every little whiff of noxious gas, uh, every little sneeze or burp. Okay, but to be fair, he is often the source of some of the uh, more uh, odor disseminations. That's checking. Huh? It is a pumpkin face. Yeah. They're jack-o'-lanterns. You make them with pumpkins. You, you take a pumpkin, you take some shears, and you carve the pumpkin. And then you put a torch inside. Hot diggity. There's one. Hello, friends. Make sure I get a fresh axe ready, too. Oh! Oh, you can hit me over there. Hmm. Hi guys. I guess it's probably time I finally actually got around to making a sword. I mean, axes are nice and all when you're trying to keep your inventory clear. I just realized the other thing I probably should have done. Instead of using full blocks, I should have just done top slabs. Now I get to go cook up some more blocks. Well, that's unfortunate. Also, apparently, swinging an axe makes you hungry. How many, uh, how many slime balls is it for the, uh, Slime Farmer Challenge. Oh. A stack. Okay. That's better than halfway there. Alright, let's grab these guys here. Let's get two more pickaxes, because I'm going to need them. Let's get a sword and an axe. And I need to go get some more, uh, I need to cook up some more blocks. Because I really should have done that as top slabs. Hindsight 2020. Not, not the year 2020. That, that was... Something very different. Yeah, I mean, since I'm here, I might as well harvest these guys. I'm gonna try to get a decent... a decent farm set up for these guys. I 
do need to keep harvesting the trees. I, I, I was using, I was growing a lot of spruce on this platform because uh, that's the easiest way to get tons of lumber really quick. But um, the jungle tree that I was trying to harvest over there kept not giving me a sapling. So I ended up uh, switching it out to dark oak so I could get apples to keep turning in the, the stupid uh, apple collector quest. And get more... Uh, and get more uh, saplings that way. Words. How do they work? Gonna need to cook up some more charcoal too. I may have to go back and do another uh, another spruce tree. I'm running a little short on lumber. And I should probably I'll need to get some more cobble here before too long too. Keep a little bit of regular cobble here, just for that. And while I'm waiting for that to cook up, let's uh, let's get back to slabbing over the void. sure that the mob farm that I set up is far enough away from the slime chunks that I don't have to worry about slimes spawning. And even if I don't use all the slime platforms, I need to make sure I know which chunks I don't build stuff in that could cause slimes to spawn. If that makes sense. Every, every island has at least one. So there is a chance that I could go through all that effort to find out that that's the only place that happens. I mean, what are the odds? Never mind. Never tell me the odds. It's been a lot of this, a lot of podcast listening, a lot of audiobook, a lot of hermitcraft. There's a lot of excitement about the new snapshots that are, are finally including cave generation. Um, apparently, somebody took a screenshot that they thought was a bug, and equally apparently, according to one of the devs, it was not, in fact, a bug. Uh, it showed off a lush lava spring. So it's a giant chamber in the ground with what can only be described as a natural lava fountain in the middle. So there, there's all sorts of plants and vegetation hanging from the roof of the cavern. And, and, yeah, this uh, lava formation in the center. Which seems rather precarious. Okay, more than a little precarious. A lot precarious.
Oh. <laughs> That's where I'd run off. I forgot that I had uh, gotten that far out. Slabby, slabby. Yeah, if you're far enough away, slimes do not spawn. It's got to be within so many blocks. It follows the same basic mechanics as other hostile mobs uh, as far as the distance is concerned. So they will not spawn within 22 blocks, 22 or 24 blocks of a player. Let me, you know, let me get that right. If I'm going to start spouting stuff off, let me, let me get that right. Uh, where's my things to remember? Thank you. Mobs will not spawn within 24 blocks of a player. And if they are more than 128 blocks away, they will randomly, or they will completely despawn. Uh, if they're between 32 blocks and 128 blocks, they will not move and they may randomly despawn. So that's where that's where we're trying to figure out things like slime farm designs and mob farm designs. Uh, you need to make sure that wherever your player is standing, it is at least 24 blocks away from the platform. Otherwise, nothing will spawn. Uh, you got to make sure that it's not so far away from where the mobs get killed that they despawn before they die. Um, that's why you see some of the mob farms like the one we did in Season 1, the creeper farm design that we used. Um, it's only but so big, because if it was any taller, if there were any more spawn platforms, you run into the chance of of mobs despawning before they die and then you get nothing for your effort which would be sad likewise when i i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do for that guy right there because i'm missing uh i don't have an iron farm yet so I don't have enough iron to put iron golems up for the slimes to target. And then walk off the edge of a platform in their rush to attack an iron golem. And then drop on a lot of the, the a lot of the more standard slime farm designs. It's platforms at least three blocks apart. So that way they're big enough for the large slimes to spawn. No, four block, three or four block, three or four blocks apart. I can't remember which now. Um, so that way the big guys can spawn, uh, because they do need a a three by three by I forget how high space. I want to say it's three by three by three. Um. But anyway, it, and then you just need to make sure that close enough to either side is an iron golem. So that way, no matter which way the slime is facing, he sees at one of the iron golems and then goes off to attack him. And slimes will jump off a ledge. Um, in, their, in their zeal to... attack a uh, an iron golem the nice thing though is they will also do that with snow golems snow golems are significantly cheaper they will throw snowballs at the slimes but the sli but the snowballs don't do damage I think the only reason why they don't usually get used is because uh, I think the the snowballs will knock them back a little bit so it's going to slow down the rate and, and really uh, a mob farm is successful based on its ability to get mobs to the killing chamber as quickly as possible 
and get them dead as quickly as possible so that more mobs can spawn. Uh, whether you're playing vanilla or skyblock, there is a mob cap. There is a limit to the number of hostile mobs that can be in a, in a given area at any point in time. Or in the world in general at a given point in time. Depending on whether you're talking about skyblock or vanilla. Um, I just ran out, didn't I? I did. And I have some random melon slices and pumpkin in my hand for some reason. I need more cobble. Well, since I'm here. Hello, Melon. Alright, let's take a minute to do a little bit of resource management. Got our pumpkins in there, our melons in there. I should have left these two down at the bottom. Um, I don't need all those. more cobblestone than I gathered. No. That, yes. No. No. That should be good. That should be good. Because uh, I'm going to, instead of doing full blocks like I did on the first platform, I'm going to use slabs. So two stacks should help me at least get far enough to find the next one. But what I do want to do is I actually want to use two stairs instead of instead of the half slabs to climb up. You, you'll see why in a little bit. I guess I could technically have started with the, the little bit that I got there. Nah. Alright. Although I do need to spend more time with these guys and, and get to mining the cobble. Oh, the other thing that I found out the hard way is at least if you're using stone or iron tools and a block of clay spawns on that back position, neither stone nor iron will break a clay block fast enough for you to clear it if you're doing, if, if you're doing a, a bit of AFK time at the cobble generator. Uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but if you're holding down a mouse button, like the left mouse button or the right mouse button, and you hold down F3 and tap T, when the logo screen pops up, you can let go. And for whatever reason, when, when the game is refreshing texture packs, it continues clicking. So, hands free. But I'm still clicking. No auto clicker, no special software, uh, none of that. Just one of those things that if you if you're holding down a mouse button and you hold down F3, tap T. Once you see the logo, you let go. It, it'll just keep doing that until you click on something again. Uh, not entirely sure why it does that. Not entirely sure how whoever figured that out figured that out, but. Uh, that is the way it goes sometimes. I'm so happy that you don't die when you fall. Oh, that's why I needed more cobble. <laughs> Doggone it. I need to finish that platform. Are those... Are those mossy... stone bricks? Is somebody flexing that hard that they're putting mossy stone bricks in the bottom? Ah. Ah. Rest for you. Yeah. I'll catch up eventually. Oh. 
Let me... Because I need lumber. Uh, uh, yeah. I need some lumber. Let me go ahead and do those right now real quick. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to do all the resource gathering type stuff on, on screen or even on stream. Um, and this guy's going to get a rework too. That was the hasty compact edition, not the act, not the final one when I move it down below. I really hate doing those kind of temporary farms though, where I'm going to build something and then tear it down in a little bit. Uh, but that's the way it goes sometimes, apparently. This is why I've been growing more dark oak. For some reason, dark oak gives me more apples than regular oak. I don't know if that's just me or... I'll do that off camera and you... You might have some apples. Do you have some apples? I mean, I guess that's the other thing I could do. I could, al I could always use, uh... No, no apples. I could always do some wooden, wooden, uh, wooden blocks instead of, um, uh, smooth stone. I might just do that. time spent doing this and browsing through the uh, the help the help forms the support forums for the skyblock to to resolve some of the problems that we've been having with uh, with the software it turns out that you either need to set up the uh, spigot permissions file appropriately or install a permissions manager neither of which was mentioned in the install documentation uh, because uh, one of the features is you unlock the ability to change what biome your island is or what biome even part of your island is and the skyblock software is correctly telling or correctly setting in the player profile the permissions that you've managed to unlock don't don't waste the redstone don't waste the redstone that would be a problem um It doesn't take much to derail my train of thought. It's a little, it's a little like that Thomas the Tank Engine in uh, Ant Man, where all it takes is a little, little push, and then it gets knocked over. That could be worse. Yeah. Oh, oh. 
So, so Skyblock is setting in the player profile the permissions that you've unlocked the ability to change your island to a swamp biome or deep ocean or flower forest or whatever. Um, but when when Skyblock is checking, it's checking with the permission manager, not the profile. Maybe, possibly. Not entirely sure. That's the part that I that I get to track down, um, and see if it's something that I need to install, set up, or report as a bug. Um, what is making this a lot more difficult is uh, I'm trying to do my due diligence, and as as a programmer, to the rest of you. I, I would kindly ask that when you go to submit a bug to a project, do check and see if it's already been submitted as a problem. Because it may be something that is a known issue and there's a simple workaround, or it's something that was set up incorrectly and therefore there's nothing to report. Um, and if you go through the help, you, know, you can usually find stuff like that. You'll also find stuff that gets asked pretty frequently, so you can be kind to the developer and let them know, like, uh, I can't tell you how many times in these pages and pages and pages of uh, discussion, because un unfortunately, the primary support form is a single thread on the Spigot website. Um, so you get a bunch of stuff that is just in chronological order. It's not easy to search. It's not easy to find or categorize or filter out um, which is a separate problem that 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 I'll I'll get on the the project owners after I get done uh, um, one of the things that you see people constantly constantly or one of the things that you see the developer constantly asking every time somebody says hey I'm having a problem with skyblock what version of skyblock are you running what are you running it on and what plugins do you have installed? The number of times that I, I, I am, I'm wading through this 27 page long discussion thread and <clears throat> every time somebody reports a problem or says that they're having trouble, the first question the developer asks, what version of Skyblock are you running? What are you running it on and its version? And what plugins are you using and their versions? Because th there's been a few of them where, where it's been like, oh yeah, uh, <laughs> that, that's because you didn't update to the latest version of Spigot. Update Spigot and everything will be fine. Or you're using an older version of Skyblock. Uh, if you update it, it'll be fine. Or you're using an unsupported plugin. You know, so we told you it wasn't supported and you used it anyway. These are choices people make. Uh, th so, so you end up with a lot of stuff like that. That can be that 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 just 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 a few minutes due diligence, just a few minutes due diligence will will, will help you and help them help you. <laughs> uh, Screenshots are golden, especially when you're talking about error messages. Log files are even better. Both of them is the best. So, you know, if you're if you're having trouble doing something, a screenshot of what it is doing is excellent. Yeah, you know, log files are excellent. The the number of times that that again has been part of the pro process like, you know, the check went through the first step after a lot of back and forth finally got the full list of plugins and and which version of skyblock and all that stuff that they're running and, and then it comes down to well what's wrong oh it doesn't do this what do you mean you know and, and this is where a picture's worth a thousand words and a screenshot helps immensely uh Especially when it, when it tells you what the problem is, or it gives you, it, you know, it gives you a little bit more context to it. Um, 
I'll go with that for now. I could definitely go with more, but I'll go with that for now. Uh, I, I think I heard you talking over in the corner there, but you muted your mic. Sometimes my hand hits the cord that goes into the back of the mic, and I think I keep unplugging the mic. Uh, um, that That's actually a sign that we got to either look at the mic cable and see if the uh, retaining clip... Because... Well, I, I can't I can't point to it here because it's on the other side, but there there is a, a little button there for a retaining clip that holds it in place so that doesn't happen. So if that's coming loose, that's a problem with the cable or a problem with the back of the microphone. Uh, one of those is cheaper to fix than the other. <laughs> and it would be <laughs> nice to it'd be nice to know which it is. Uh, because it shouldn't be coming loose just by knocking it. Unless there's a bigger problem. I think I fixed it. <laughs> what? Did, did you push it in until it clicked? Well, there's that, and there's also the fact that the mic was spinned upside down, I guess. So the clip was getting pushed by the holder for the mic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that can happen too. Okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what I had been yeah, cause, saying... Because <laughs> you, you're, you're worrying me with that for a minute there, because that, that's a $100 microphone right there, good sir. Like, Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Anyway. And that, that's, uh, actually, that's actually on the... Uh, uh, well, okay. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, I was asking if you needed more cobble and uh, what you had to trade. Uh, I have nothing to trade, and, and I mean, this is Skyblock. You always need more cobble. Who doesn't need more cobble? Well, I can I can sell you a chest full for an IOU. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just one? Just nope. one IOU? Nope. Uh, okay, fine. Take my cobble elsewhere, sir. <laughs> Take your cobble elsewhere. <laughs> Oh, what was, oh, oh, those guys. Hi, friends. <laughs> and I keep forgetting that every time I, I roll across the uh, jack-o'-lantern, it lights up the area. Is, oh, I didn't mean to bring the iron pick down with me. Oops. Is that a bat head? Yeah, that's a bat head. Okay. Because I, I, for a second there, I thought it was a, uh, 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 whatchamacallit, uh, comes in oh, the raids. Beast? Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. uh, is he triggering raids already? Like, like, I haven't seen a random patrol spawn. I don't even know if random patrols will spawn. Not up here. They might down there. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Because I, I know the conditions for them to show up are really weird and super specific. It's why we saw less and less random patrols in the community center. And more of them towards the fringes of the community center. Mm -hmm. As the season went on. Uh, part of it was the lighting. Part of it was the building. Part of it was... Uh, some of the other aspects of the, the conditions for them to appear. Uh, like, like they, they actually will not spawn within so many blocks of a village center. And so as we used more and more villagers for more and more things that became little villages unto themselves, uh, it moved the area that they would spawn out towards the edge a little bit more and a little bit more. Hmm. Mm hmm. 
I was I was honestly curious why I hadn't seen one yet, but I figured it was simply because I had kept everything so unspawnable so far. Uh, well, yeah, that for me that's that's why because everything's bottom slabs except for that little patch of grass way up at the top, and, and that is lit up well enough that it won't spawn because it is it light level is a part of it. Uh, whether the area them. is has sky access is part of it. Um, huh. I, I don't I remember I've all of them it. Though. Spawn in daylight, so I yeah. Mean, well, is it block light or is it like skylight? Because uh, it can't be skylight. They spawn in the daytime. I don't. I don't remember. It was one of those things okay. that that I kind of looked up a long while ago. And it was never necessary for, because honestly, if you're going to do any farming with pillagers, you go to one of the outposts and you convert that, because the spawning exactly. conditions there are different than in the world. Okay, cool enough. Unfortunately, I unfortunately, I still haven't seen a wandering trader on my island because... Everything's bottom slabs, and there's nowhere for him to spawn. I've seen two, but I supposedly had a third, but I never found him. Uh, <laughs> check all the little nooks and crannies. They, they spawn in some weird places. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've had one since him, so it doesn't matter. Ah. They, they go away after a while anyway, so. Mm-hmm. After a while? Is that what you named no. your sword? A while? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't got enough diamonds to be naming swords. Eh, it doesn't cost honest, diamonds. I don't even have enough. It costs iron, and I definitely yeah. don't have enough for an anvil. And I, I've, I've got What's the... his name was talking on stream today. Sorry. Uh, uh, Medic was talking on stream today, talking about... Uh, this might break his second anvil. I'm over here like, I haven't even made one. <laughs> you guys have anvils? No. Not I. <laughs> Particular froggy looking fella's got one. Apparently he's on his second. Where is the frog? <laughs> I don't know where the I frog is. I stepped away for a little bit. He was on a minute ago. He probably went to go get dinner. Yeah. And where are you? I'm here. No, rest. I saw her log in and then log back out. And now we got the voice. Yeah, my computer is having problems loading, so I had to reboot. Oh. Ah. Fun. No, not fun. Well, I mean, that's better than my BIOS issue yesterday. <laughs> I went to go live yesterday and... Uh, Monsieur Alienware was like, oh, you've got some firmware stuff you need to update. I'm like, what? Mm. <laughs> mm -mm. What, what do you mean, firmware? <laughs> yeah, my laptop did that, and I was out of commission for like an hour at work. Yeah. It was like, what? you must update everything. Some firmware update and something with the BIOS it had to update. I'm yeah. Like, what? Okay. Yeah, some some there? of it's probably to get your computer ready for Windows 11 and turn on some of the key features that are required. Well, what if I don't want to? Uh, there's security features that are good to have on anyway. Like, honestly, they should have been on everybody's computer since they were released in 2006. Oh, those kind of things. Okay. But they, they were installed but not turned on on a lot of computers because... Uh, it would your computer would feel a little bit faster if it wasn't on. So you know, to help you feel better about your computer, let's turn that off for you. <laughs> I mean, sure, it's a security thing, but uh, yeah. Oh, I need some more fence gates, don't I? I do. Okay. Uh, yeah. That'll work. That'll work. All right, let me put those slabs away. Let me grab my stack and a bit of slime balls. 
go back to the top of the island real quick. And make me up some more gates. Unless I got some fence gates already made. Nope. Nope. Ah, so close. Nope. There are no stone gates. Hello, melons. <laughs> Hello, melons. I got melons. Mm -hmm. Let me turn in my uh, slime farmer. That'll, that'll consume 64 of those slime balls, but there's plenty more where they came from now. And I could always use I don't the extra have diamond. One of those yet. Hmm? I don't have one of those yet. Yay, four diamonds. <laughs> and a I'm couple of I'm thinking I'm going to make the core of my place a uh, Tower of Terror. A Tower of Terror? Like it's going to be mm -hmm. a ride? So gonna... Yeah, like with multiple platforms with water going down that pushes it down to the bottom. Okay. It'll be a ride, but it won't be a happy one for anyone who takes it. You do have a very uh, interesting setup there. What? And seriously? Mossy stone mm -hmm. brick floor? Why? It's cute. Yeah, I know. It, it's more the that you got the mossy. Although I'm curious, are you going to try to let those vines grow all the way down to the bottom? Maybe. Oh, because I was curious if they would. Uh, don't don't hear what I'm not saying. Oh, like, yeah. I, I'm I was legit they will. curious if I think they would. It would be really cool if they did. <laughs> if they grew all the way to the bottom. That'd be really cool. I yeah. don't know how to make them grow faster, though. They don't. There, there isn't. I, I was kind of hoping that uh, they would do something similar to what's happening with the glow lichen. Um, that was weird. What I about vampires? I, I thought I put a full. I thought I put a full stack in there. Huh. Uh, or are you on team glow lichen, like the undead? I don't know what team I'm on. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> the the little funny uh, vine-like things that also glow in the dark that are in 1.17. Oh, well, I wouldn't know because we're not 1.17 yet. Maybe you've been watching stuff, haven't you? Sure. No. That's no. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of figured by that, sure. With what time? Uh, I can't listen at work anymore. I don't have no? long drives anymore, and my work involves math now, so I can't do that yeah. and listen to words. Uh, I can number or uh, word, okay. not both. That, that I completely understand. Oh, do I understand that part. So, yeah. I only has two options. Okay. Those guys are kind of noisy. Might have to do something about that in a minute. usually has all the dirt. It's just one of the services I provide. Mm-hmm.
Uh, you're muted again. Good, sir. I am not. You're also no, not a good, not. sir. <laughs> what are the odds that I got two slime six. chunks right next to each other? How do you know if you have a slime chunk? Uh, you put down a spawnable surface and see if slime spawn. Oh. So my thought was, I'm just going to uh -oh. make start at the bottom and make platforms mm -hmm. every 10 levels. Okay. With little windows, and then I can see whatever spawns in there, and whatever spawns in there is where I'll stand depending on what I want. Uh, except it doesn't, doesn't quite work like that. That's going to. I mean, you can say that, but that doesn't make it so. How does it not work that way? Uh, well. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with that, to be honest. <laughs> Why will that not work? Well, for starters, slime chunks like that right there are mm. only in, as the name would imply, certain chunks. So... Mine will be where I want it to be. And elevation matters. These guys will only spawn at Y level 40 and below in that chunk. So if you're checking in your in your window at 41, nobody's going to be there no matter what. Um, if you're looking for squid, that's going to require water. If you're looking for a lot of other mobs, it's going to require certain conditions that may or may not apply. So you can't just put together a floor. And even okay, then, well, I can give it water or whatever it needs. Even then, you've still got the mob cap to consider too. You can only have but so many mobs on your island at a time. So that's why I, I'm looking for this so I can build my mob farm far away. Because if I were to build the mob farm right here next to those guys, I'm not getting anything out of it because they're taking up the mob cap. Matter of fact, I bet. Let's check right now, shall we? All right. So updated. That's twenty-eight out of my fifty uh, mobs, right there. So kill them. Bouncing around all noisy. Well, they'll be back. Unless they get further away, or far enough mm -hmm. away that they despawn. Although, honestly, I might just go waterlog the area until they be quiet. That sounds mean. I, f I forgot that, uh... But they get that loud. You don't like hearing squish, 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 squish? <laughs> uh, not unless it's to the collection area so I can get my, uh... slime blocks for sticky pistons and such. Even then, I don't know that I'd like to hear that, because that means you got something in your boot. <laughs> in my line of work, that is not a good sound. Uh, in most lines of work, that's not a good sound. Yeah, it it's not a good sound in any... I can't think of any lines of work that you want to hear <laughs> squish. When you stop. Look, if I hear squish squish in a violin bag, then something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. But not the worst that any of us have ever seen. <laughs> well, look, I, I I wouldn't gonna you know, I wouldn't gonna say that much. <laughs> I think she's talking about. I her, remember. Uh, chill no. back over. Oh yeah. No. No. No pet urine removal. Oh. Uh, Someone let their cat use their cello case as a litter box. Oh, that's. 
That's nasty. Mm -hmm. And I was not going to send it to the technicians in the condition that it was presented to me in, so I went to Lowe's and got that urine removal spray and doused it so much that the whole thing was wet and then let it bake in the sun for a day. <laughs> That's probably kind of you. Before I sent it onwards and then also put a note in it that said, please wear gloves and mask when opening. <laughs> Biohazard included. Yeah. I remember uh, when I worked at a different retail establishment, a computer came in with that sort of problem. Oh, ew. Yeah. Guy couldn't figure out why it wouldn't boot up. It's because his cat was uh, marking the computer as his own. And it ate away at the electronics inside. Oh. Yeah. That's rough. Oh. You know, I miss stupidly efficient diamond swords. To make one. I don't have the diamonds for that yet. And I think more of these guys are spawning in than I'm killing. Ow. and my sword because stone tools I'm stuck punching slimes because I want the drops but the second I leave they'll all be back and then some Wasted a crit on the little guy. You don't know, he could have been the one who would bring all of his friends. <laughs> I mean, if we're gonna also, start making with my mossy oak. We're gonna start uh bringing in the D and D jokes Sunday. I, I spent <laughs> I spent time playing The Legend of Zelda like a true D&D &D murder hobo. Running around, shaking down, killing everything that could possibly give me rupees. Yeah, that's funny. Saturday you ran around playing like a murder hobo. I didn't murder much. And they started it. I did not initiate combat. When they started running at me with long swords, then, you know... That's on them. Yeah, I think I might, uh... I might go get some water and waterlog this. And my bucket is up near the top. hear the melodic sound of a puppy being fed. Mm-hmm. That's because there's a puppy being fed. Did, did you hear that over the microphone, or was that, uh... Over the microphone. And in my ear. Okay. Well, no, because I'm trying to get a better handle on some 
sound issues. The noise isolation, troubleshooting. Sound engineering is definitely uh, is something. I'd say something special, but special is not always the right word for it. Melons. You know what? We'll do that. I can do it one more time. That gets me a little more redstone ore, some more emeralds. And I'll keep more of the slime. What was I looking for? I was looking for the bucket. friends. Are we going to do this again? out of my cobble generator yet. Uh, is your island at a high enough level yet? It's over 100. Uh, I can't remember when diamonds started. Now that you're asking. And I only got emeralds at the one time I haven't gotten them since I leveled up. It's sad. Yeah, I've gotten a couple, em literally two emeralds. No, more than two. I, I've gotten a couple of emeralds out of it. I've gotten a grand total of five emeralds out of it. My problem is I'm not getting enough iron. I don't think any of us is getting enough. Well, I mean, what is this enough iron? The amount we had last season was more than enough iron. Uh, I don't so know we're, that it was more than enough, but it, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll go with you that it was enough. Where did I put that? That was... Keep getting redstone, though. Four. I have more if redstone I than I know what two, to do with. Three, uh, use it to build stuff. Duh. I don't build things with that. But you could. Hmm. No one needs that. I mean, the game has <laughs> given me enough redstone ore that I'm tempted to build something out of it. Ooh, there's my. Ooh, what's that one? What's going on? What's that one? Two fifty. Uh, yeah. My island level is two fifty. Yeah. Congrats! Weren't we talking about like that not happening for months? Yeah, yeah. Somebody was saying saying something about you know. No, that was Skylord. Skylord is yeah, the one we yeah. were saying wouldn't happen. <laughs> so next week. Mm -hmm. that, that's what <laughs> I'm hearing. Oh, man. I, I'm running out of room for my dirt. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> your accent got thick when you said that. What? Running out of room for my dirt? Yeah. <laughs> for your dirt? <laughs> my, my dirt? <laughs> Your dirt. <laughs> like that was whoa. <laughs> yeah, I had you guys on audio audio only earlier. 
So, I heard a lot of what was going on. I just haven't had a chance to see it yet. Oh, you talking about the build? That too. Uh, okay. That's uh, everywhere. All right. That'll keep the annoying squish, squish, squish while I test other stuff. And since nothing spawned... I don't understand your hate for squishes. <laughs> oh, they show ain't delicious. No, but they're How almost as fun as boobs. I do love a good boop. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you said Does boots and I was getting ready to bro. go. No, we already agreed. Squishes and boots are not good. Uh, do mushrooms have to grow on grass? No. You can grow them on ponzel or mycelium in any light level, or on grass, dirt, coarse dirt, under a certain light level. I forget what that is. They won't, they won't grow on dirt out in the daylight. I tried that. Yeah, it's got, what it, if you it, use bone meal? You can bone meal it into a large mushroom. In any light level. That's what I was going to do. Uh, well. But you can't plant it on dirt. Yeah. Yeah, you won't be able to plant it. So what I would do is I would grab two dirt. No, four dirt. Put them away from anything you don't want to accidentally become podzel. Go grow a spruce tree on it. And then you got podzel that you could use as a planting platform mm, I might do that later that sounds like a lot of work that's not that's not a lot of work at all it is no it's not reach their own mm-hmm mm-hmm Just got all quiet. Yeah, because I'm waiting for things to burn. <laughs> I sorry, I was considering responses, but no, none of them none of them would have turned out well for me. Because it was either gonna be so you're cooking? Or we're not playing D&D. &D. Hope I'm not waiting for anything to burn in D&D. &D. Uh, usually, one of your questions that is fairly reliable is, is it flammable or some variation thereof? True. Also, does it breathe? Yeah, does it breathe? But but more often than not, there there is some question of uh, is it flammable? Is it wearing something that is flammable? Can I make I it flammable? This time. Do what? So I think that's my character this time. As a matter of fact, the more I think about it, <laughs> I feel like I'm playing a Reyes character. Maybe a little bit. Really. Um, I'm all about the books, and I'm all about setting things on fire. Really? Mm-hmm. I, I don't just think like, I'm just you're chaotic enough for that to be a Rass character. Uh, well, true. This, this is the first character I've ever played that's not chaotic something. Because I play a lot of characters that like. And I think you calling your characters chaotic is disrespectful to certain individuals named Chaos. <laughs> well, yeah, well it's different well, kinds of chaos. Like. There are different yeah. levels of chaos.
Also, your character does not loot quick enough to be a Reyes character. <laughs> uh, that is true. That is true. My character, although he likes the loot, is not a loot hobo. No, my problem is my My characters memory. like shiny things. <sighs> I'm out of pickaxes. Again. Again, again. How many stone pickaxes will I go through? Ooh, oh, can we play the stat game? <laughs> only a little bit. Well, only a little. I might actually have you guys beat on the broken pickaxes. I've broken, broken axes. Uh, I've broken 81 stone pickaxes. Two iron pickaxes, two wooden pickaxes, and one diamond pickaxe. I have broken 182 stone pickaxes. And none of the other pickaxes, because I haven't used anything but stone, with the exception of my diamond one that it has mending on it. Yeah. But I've broke 103 axes and 31 swords. Oh, dang. Only 19 axes, and I've broken one sword so far. One stone sword so far. Of course, I'm just now getting to a place where I've got mobs to kill, too, so. I was going to say, I thought you were using, like, a regular axe to attack mobs. I, I was, until the horde of slime was dying too slowly. They needed to die faster. They weren't dying fast enough. And I've only used 50 dying faster? 43 pickaxes. Used or? Oh. This way broken. I Sorry. Broken. Away. Hi, friend. 121 pickaxes, but the thing that I'm actually somewhat astonished by is the 12 fishing bowls. That no is only 12? Bowls. Yeah, exactly. That it was only twelve. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I was getting ready to say like uh, it, the the twelve fishing poles. I, I'm not seeing where that's you know all that weird, except for the fact that it's only twelve. What's your highest crafted item? Uh, I'm sleeping. Give me one second. Let's see. Um, which one's crafted? Uh, that'd be bone meal. Eight thousand one hundred and forty-two. Cobblestone slabs, 16,236. Dang. Well, look at the bottom of his base, and that'll explain <laughs> that number. True. <laughs> I was about to say, I've only got 8,000. I, I was going to say, look slabs. at every floor on this thing, and it's all cobblestone slabs. <laughs> like, as a comparison, I've only done 2,900 cobblestone slabs. <laughs> My highest times crafted is stone brick slabs at just shy of 3,000. Hmm. Was that before you made them mossy? Or before you had the vines to make them mossy? Ooh. Which one was the carpenter challenge? Uh... A bunch of random stuff. <laughs> I I mean, technically, everything's random, but... <laughs> no, it's like a spruce door, four oak trap doors, 30 uh, uh, ladders, 30 okay. acacia fences, two dark oak fences, and... And a yeah, wooden yeah. partridge in a pear tree. Yes, seriously. But I finished it, and now I have a parrot, which was the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> to get a parrot? Yep. So I can get a pair. You only get the one? Uh, if you complete it again, will it give you a second one? Is that one yeah, of the ones? I have no idea. 
There's a chance. There's a there's a very small chance that you can get a second parrot. Okay. Huh. I might have to try for that. Yeah, because then if you get two of them, you, you can start having a lot of fun with that. <laughs> and it gave me a jukebox, so. Yeah. Of course. Parrot in a jukebox. That's why you want the flock of parrots, so you can have them dancing around your jukebox. Yep. Thanks to somebody and their overabundance of a certain disc, I actually have a music disc. So. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that many of the same disc from challenges or from uh, skeletons uh, killing creepers? Okay. So. Uh oh. Two, uh, what two happened was. I got, well, two of them I'd gotten from skeletons killing creepers. Mm hmm. Then I completed a challenge that gave me two discs. And one of the discs was the same as the two that I got from Skeletons Killing Creepers. Ah, okay. Thanks. <laughs> so RNG was uh, not playing nice with you. Yeah, so I've gotten, I, I've actually physically have gotten four discs, but only two of them are different. Because I want to say there's an actual challenge for collecting every music disc and... There is. Yeah. It's called Maestro. It's a purple grade challenge. You get every disc in a jukebox and it'll uh, give you three diamonds, a gold block and ten emeralds. Um, purple isn't so much a grade as it is... Uh, the requirements. Oh, I thought it was like a, a grade. <laughs> Not quite. Uh, the the person who wrote the Skyblock just did that as you need a purple. You need so many blue ones to get the purple one to get the, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Ah. So it's nested how many challenges deep. <laughs> Which doesn't really change some of that much because, yeah, some of those, you, you got a lot of challenges to do. Good luck with that. Oh, technician, you're going to hate. You who? What's technician? Oh, you. I haven't opened that one yet. You as an Anon. <laughs> Why am I going to hate it? Because it requires 64 redstone, 32 redstone torches, 5 repeaters, 3 comparators, 2 pistons, 2 sticky pistons, a lever, a stone button, stone pressure plate, a hopper, a dispenser, dropper, and a daylight detector. Mm hmm And the only thing you're going to get is some snow, ice, and packed ice. Uh, what, what are you talking about? That snow turns into a snow golem, and that gets you infinite snow. Which is really useful oh. for making more snow golems. I'm about to hit my uh, <laughs> no. I'm about to hit my slime farm hot and heavy because slimes will target snow golems just like they will iron golems. So when you're short on iron, you can use snow golems for a lot of similar stuff. Let's see what I need? Sixty. That is a very special puppy. No. He's just cute. Well, he's that too, but he's also very special. Nope, just cute. station. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, rest. What was that? What? If rest would have said it, it would have been said much more deeper and menacingly. Are you 
implying that I menace my villagers? No, implying is subtle. The, the, this is no, pretty. You, you, this is pretty straight up. Implying that I'm a wood. Yeah, he, he's implying that that I don't uh, I don't intimidate enough. Well, I mean, it's not a class skill for your character. That is true. How many chunks on an island? A lot. <sighs> no slimes. Chunk four. No slimes in sight. Dearest Virginia, today we have tried four chunks. Does everybody have slime chunks? Everybody has at least one. So you have one. I have found one so far. I am going to test every chunk to see if I have more than one. Because I don't want to okay. build something and then find out the hard way that I really shouldn't have built that there. Yeah, like other people have. I was really <laughs> trying not to go that? there. I built my nether portal only to find out that I built it on my slime chunk. Aww. So I had to move the nether portal and then I moved my mob farm to a complete different side of my thing only to find that I built my mob farm in a slime chunk. I have two slime chunks that I know of. Yeah, that he knows of. Aha! Boom! Nice. How many emeralds Full is that? Set. That was 60. Mm. And I just got a full set of diamond armor. Out of the no challenge? Way. Off the challenge, yes. Nice. So that's cool. That's my little... cool. Yep, <laughs> Covered that with is diamonds. It's going to be my precious box until I get my whole thing done to where I don't fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. My, you, you, you don't want to fall into the void with your newfound diamond armor? Yeah, my my luck. I'll be like, hey, guys. Look, oh! oh, no, Wee. Mr. Bill. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd man. I'd rather have the diamonds. <laughs> that goes back a little way. <laughs> oh, trust me. I'd rather have the diamonds, too, but it's going to give me armor, so I'm okay with that. I, I, I don't get why you'd rather have the diamonds, because what, what are you going to do with them? Uh, pickaxes. That's what villagers are going to be for. I can hold out until I get the villagers, and then they'll sell me pickaxes. Oh, goodness. Matter of fact, this time around, I'm going to do the, the zombie conversion stuff. Uh, so that way they give me pickaxes at a really good price. They will give me a really good price. No! Sleeping must happen! <laughs> I, was, I, was go, I was wondering what you are going with the know about. I was like, but you're going to do the same thing too, aren't you? <laughs> Sleeping must happen, please, and thank you. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, no, no. You go right ahead, sir. <laughs> oh, I'm nowhere near mine. I was... <laughs> I can't do it for another 25 seconds, so... Oh. Wow. Yeah, because you canceled it. <laughs> okay, it's good to know that works. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Sir. 
I'm doing it. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> there you go. I oh. am in a dark and scary place. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh okay so so that's what it's gonna be like and you guys wonder why i'm bottom slapping everything that doesn't save you from phantoms good sir <laughs> uh being being at y equals zero does Wait, phantoms can't be here? When you are at the bottommost slab at the bottom of the world, the phantom spawning algorithm apparently doesn't detect you. <gasps> My home. Just don't jump. <laughs> don't fall. Wow. This is where I shall build my world. <laughs> I, I'm actually surprised you didn't pillar up to build limit and just build a giant roof over your entire island because as long as I you have to have sunlight hmm? what has to have For sunlight plants. my my vegetations they have to have light it doesn't have to be sunlight <laughs> uh -oh. any light will do No plants. Uh, I hope you like the uh, light while you had it. You're getting all artificial from now on. <laughs> yeah, I, I think somebody. I think I hear the sound of somebody crafting a million torches. <laughs> and not for the challenge either. <laughs> nope. I did I turn that challenge. I did turn that one in a couple of times. It hurt my soul a little bit. Hey, that's an easy one to do. Yeah, I know. But I mean, the torches could have been put to far better use. Oh goodness. Don't you oh goodness me. I will. I will indeed. That is... I think we lost Beach Duck again. What gave that away? <laughs> uh, the viewer count dropping. Ah, uh, well, probably. Which reminds Apparently me, she's been the the last in her hot spot. the last time we were there, we forgot to set her up with a copy of Among Us. Oh, Is that still on sale? That's sad. If it's not, it was only two dollars more. I, know. I will gladly make the sacrifice. Because I, well, and the other thing is, we got to figure out. Uh, well, I guess when I say we, I mean I uh, mm -hmm. have to figure out um, how, where in that apartment she can get a better, more solid connection. Because I. Because the teenagers. <laughs> I would like I would like to do an Among Us live stream with the four of us, Beach Duck, Beast Lord, uh, Pink Geek. And that'll probably be a big enough crew to go for the first <laughs> for the first couple go rounds. I just want it big enough that, that two imposters is not uh, too many. Does that make sense? <laughs> the whole team. <laughs> well, I mean, with five people, you know, uh, five people, t two imposters is way too many. Uh, although, that would be seven. Two might be too many for, for a crew of seven, so maybe we'll have to figure out who we want to expand it out to. I have ideas, but we'll have to talk offline. Okay. Yeah, I, I got a couple other ideas, too.
funny if we're throwing out ideas. I've got ideas. Are there ones you can say on the stream? Well, I mean, it, it really just depends on what the topic of conversation is. I mean, I've, I've got oh. ideas. I, I just don't know. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, wait, sorry. That's Jeff's line. That's okay. He doesn't have a mic, so you, you can do it for him. There, there are days that I, I deeply, deeply consider putting one of those pet cams on his collar. <laughs> I don't think anybody needs a sideways view of the living room for hours <laughs> on end. <laughs> Especially if there's audio, you don't need to hear the, the sound of... <laughs> <laughs> that poor puppy. Does he, he snore loud? No respect. Jubba? Sometimes. He doesn't snore loud. Sometimes. Oh my goodness, I have so much fishes. Yeah, I'm down to my last eight. I, I need to set up a fish farm soon. Although I got enough wheat I that I, I can... I can I can live on bread for a little while. I also have so much black dye. You're going to need that wheat. <laughs> yeah, I know the challenge, but honestly, I'm going to build a uh, proper wheat farm once I get the slime. It, it, it all comes down to I got to find all the slime chunks down here, and then I can start working from there. Uh, with all the slime chunks identified, I can then figure out where I'm going to build my mob farm. With that identified, I can then start building the other farms. It's just the the tedious process of are 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 you a slime chunk? No. <laughs> are are you a slime chunk? No. That. I mean, that seems like it should be a Minecraft kid's story. Are you my slime chunk? <laughs> I'm glad somebody got it. No, just a bunch of zombies. Are you my slime chunk? No, no, that's a witch's hut. <laughs> that would be a really cute and probably really good selling kids book, and I feel like we should like cut this or something before somebody steals our idea. <laughs> Honestly, the problem is never somebody stealing it because implementation is the hard part and marketing. Lots of people have billion dollar ideas all the time, but they never actually do anything with them. Like my Uncle Fred, he had million dollar ideas all the time. Just listen to him. Ooh, and we could do like a Overworld Edition and an End Edition. <laughs> and another edition. <laughs> Why do the kitties cry? <laughs> well, now that there's actual cats in the game, uh, <laughs> they're not kitties. Eh, well. I mean, they did use cat sounds for the record for recording them. They're they're altered. So uh, they are actual kitties. They are. No, yeah, they're not kitties. Sound, yeah. I think they are. I think when a cat goes, kitties are you know, cute and it nice. On. And, well, okay, maybe not nice. You obviously yeah. have not met any of the kitties at my work. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you, when a cat passes on from the overworld, that's what they turn into. <laughs> Is that what gas star the the uh, the ghost of cat passed? Well, I mean, it, they the size fits their ego. 
much better than their normal body did. We literally have a cat at work that, like, will roll up on the door, walk up right to it, and just stare at us like, you gonna come feed me? You just sitting there looking like you doing something. <laughs> and then we'll bang on the door and look at us like, uh, ahem, I have arrived. <laughs> okay. That's, that's a thing. That is a thing. Oh, my kingdom for a haste beacon. Gonna happen. Oh, no, it'll happen. Can you make beacons of these? Yeah. You can, but, uh... Is there sadness involved? There's a lot of sadness involved. <laughs> All the sadness is involved. <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't doing it until fi I finally get the, uh end portals or the end frames and I can make a portal to the end so I can cheese the wither fight under the uh, the, the well in the end <laughs> you don't want to do a wither fight on your island on your little island nope that would be awful nope yeah, let's see what you do Oh my goodness. You should go to someone else's island and do it. Yeah, except you can't do it on someone else's island because you can't put the blocks yeah, down to create them. <laughs> That'd be griefing. We don't do that on the server. Hang on. I, I, need, to, I need to clip that for future when, you know. Yeah, please. <laughs> what? <laughs> We don't? One time. Is that a royal we, an offensive we, uh We. One, one as in time. Uh, as in the French word for yes. Ah, yeah, okay. We, we, we do. We Yes we, griefing on this uh <laughs> yes. it, it was a poor sentence construction. Oh, okay. That makes more sense then. Or <laughs> so much hate around here. No, I don't wait until Medic goes AFK and then <laughs> push him off of off of a very high place. I did Has not he done this this What? You did. Has he managed to grieve you on this thing? No, no, Whoa. no, no not, not on here, no. Oh, oh. Uh, that was last server. Last season. I, I, I was getting ready to say, I mean, look, I, I'm not going to lie. If I really put my mind to it, I could probably find a way to grieve some people. But... There's no point. I'm That's not the one goes. you got to worry about doing that. No, I was at uh, the top of the water cooler build, and I went AFK, and somebody yeah, decided I didn't to push you. No, he you just removed the glass block from underneath oh, you. Okay. I know that yeah. because that's where I had <laughs> logged out, and someone hadn't put the glass block back. Because so, it went into his inventory. So I when I it. logged in, I logged in to no platform underneath my feet. Died, Ooh. respawned, where I logged in with no platform underneath my feet. <laughs> That's bad. I'm noticing a pattern. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that was, that was unintended consequences. Yeah. And what made it what it made it really bad was the fact that I was actually AFK for quite a while. So when I came back, all oh. of my stuff had been because that yeah. was right when the graves weren't working. Okay. Yeah. That was unkind. It was. It was. I felt bad, which is why I stopped griefing. No, legit, that's that, why was the last, that was the last prank I did. <laughs> that was why all of my tools and armor and stuff had V2 at the end of it. <laughs> you know, Air Medics version 2. <laughs> it was time for some upgrades. It's okay. Uh, as a negative Ghost Rider. That's how to make people moderately upset. 
Uh, more than moderately. Uh, yeah, no, it was bad. Yeah, I didn't talk to him for like it, at least half an hour. Yeah. That long? <laughs> that long. Mm -hmm. He was upset with me. It didn't help that we were about to go live when Anon had the issue. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nay, like nay. I, said, I felt bad, so I stopped griefing. <laughs> it was it was a bad day. Well, I mean, if only we had agreed to no griefing on the server. We did. Which is why I didn't do it anymore. Mm-hmm. 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 Evan. Since then. Since then. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <sighs> you said it, Jeva. I need to record that sigh. Put it as one of the emotes. Speaking of which, I have all these points in chat. Like, I'm up to 56,000 points. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have more points than I have. Yeah, I never think of them because I never do anything with them. I, I have far more than that on Medic's channel. Yeah, and if Medic had his uh, scary, scary sound still installed, <laughs> nope. I know it would be getting used next uh, Phasmophobia stream. <laughs> <gasps> that oh. is evil and epic. You don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need it, but it'd be funny. Watch, watch long enough. <laughs> Yeah. You'll see me scream like a little girl. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Reyes was cracking up over. Yeah, I think that's the only reason she likes the game. <laughs> is watching <laughs> us. Jumping. It is fun. <gasps> I'm sorry. When you're standing there and all of a sudden, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're asking this like little radio you're holding, you know, are you here? And it's like, Close, like right behind your ear, and it's like, oh boy. I like it when it responds with kill attack. Yeah, no, oh. that's that's not good either. <laughs> or, you know, you just walk into a room and out of nowhere it appears right in your face. No, what's worse is when it decides it wants to hunt. Oh. And it's at the doorway, the only doorway out of the room you're in. Like, there's no hiding from that. <laughs> I don't usually bother hiding when it hunts. I just kind of accept it. If you can well, kill your light, crouch, and walk far enough away, you can hide while it's hunting and not die. Or at least that's what I have found so far. Yeah, usually my luck has you been that cannot. if it's hunting and I'm there, it's because, like, I was next to it. Oh, uh, well. Oh no, your sanity was never low enough anymore because you, you know, you're, you have been relegated to truck duty. Oh, is this hey, like? I enjoy my truck duty. Is this like House on Haunted Hill where you have an actual sanity rating in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait. The lower your sanity, the more often it attacks. That that it, I, I am thinking of the right game, right? House on Haunted Hill. Or yeah. No? yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. House on the Hill. House on the Hill. House on Haunted Hill was one of those really bad horror movies from You're 90 You think of Betrayal at the House on the Hill. Yeah. Like something straight out of Lovecraft. So I saw that there's this new, I use air quotes, new game out uh, that's supposed to be touted as, you know, like um, similar to Phasmophobia. Mm -hmm. 
and when I went and watched a little bit of the gameplay, it is exactly like Phasmophobia. Oh. Like, like someone people, has a lawsuit? Like, these people didn't have any shame whatsoever in copying exactly what Phasmophobia does. All the way down to the inside of the truck, the way, except we're in a trailer, and in that game you're in an RV. Uh, um, then it's technically not copyright infringement. Do they at least do it better? Because I don't, like, like, it's still not good, but I mind it less when it's at least done well. When you're doing that and you don't even at least do it as good, it's kind of like, Really? We, we went through all this exercise for this? It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like there's much difference. Mm. Oh. <laughs> She's like, that's a waste. <laughs> Just a lot of energy for not a lot of return. Mm-hmm. go through checking this whole island and it's just going to be the one chunk but if I didn't check the whole island it's going to be you like five of them <laughs> you would always wonder <laughs> you could have my second chunk I mean it's really not even a question of, of I, I don't want a second chunk I'm not going to say no, but I, I don't. Well, I can't say no. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to build this with what's more readily available. Uh, normally, you'd use a lot of magma blocks for the killing platform and a bunch of hoppers or water streams and a bunch of hoppers. Uh, you'll notice a bunch of hoppers keeps coming up in that sentence. And I don't want to commit a bunch of hoppers. You could use lava blades to... Uh, you only cut them down to the you. smaller ones, but the, the, la the lava blades would require you to have, I don't know, more than the one bucket of lava. Um, you, only, you only need four hoppers. Well, oh. I mean, depends on depends on how you're building it, too. Tens on your definition of need. Well, what I'm saying is, is that my slime farm that I had in season one only utilized four hoppers. Yeah. And you could probably do it in less than that with the rails and a minecart. But now we're getting back into. I need a. I need an iron farm territory. Yes. And that is the problem. <sighs> because why is an iron farm bad? Rails be expensive. Mm -hmm. well, I just made sixteen of them. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. But on oh, the I other hand, we found out that hopper minecarts do not count towards your hopper limit, which uh, <laughs> opens up a few options. That is true. Is there a way to make everything have a hopper minecart at the bottom? Like, even if it's just running in a circle? Um, you can just have it sitting still, and it'll still suck stuff in. Yeah, it, it just has to... It, it has to empty into a hopper. Uh, 
So you will need at least one hopper somewhere for unloading. Yeah, but still, like, you could do a lot with that if you do hopper yeah. minecarts under everything. Exactly. And then do, like, just one offloading place. Mm -hmm. Even if it's slow, which I know would eat your soul, um, it would function. That's what we should call this season. The season that ate Anon's soul. Well, yeah. Why do I keep getting so much iron? Nobody wants you. Oh, so we oh. did do a test with the sword also. Anon. Um. Okay, sorry. I'm getting Verizon messages that I think Arcadia should be getting, but we'll handle that offline. Okay. Uh, what kind of test with what sword? Remember when I was having all the problems with the, with my diamond sword, how it's not killing anything? Mm-hmm. Well, we tested it today. I gave it to Arcadius to go to his farm with, and it worked just fine for him. Yeah, I never thought it was a sword. It yes, really, uh, it really feels it. like some sort of either client or client connection problem. And I do have Optifine, by the way. I went ahead okay. and got Optifine today. Did that change anything? Improve anything? Improve graphics. Didn't change any uh, anything else. Okay. Yeah, because I, I just murdered a bunch of slime with no trouble with the sword. Is it only a diamond sword, or...? No, it's uh, it's all my swords. I'm wondering if it doesn't have something to do with his internet connection. Well, because the, the, some of the visual glitches you're talking about make me wonder about the, the connection as well. Because it was also One you that kept disconnecting from uh, the other game too, right? Yes, but I'm not. I found out last night that I'm not the only one that's been having that issue. Yeah. No, the thing that's tipping me off to something being wrong, uh, and I stood over his shoulder and watched, looking for it, because I didn't see it on his stream yesterday mm -hmm. or. Uh, oh, today. yeah, you're talking about the hearts, but I also don't show the hearts because I turned off a lot of the particle stuff. Mm, well, it still shows the the steam where you hit someone, the little oof little symbols. The it little just oof doesn't symbols? show hearts. Yeah, the little oof symbols. We get them. <laughs> Be quiet. Everyone else knew what I was talking about. Look, I, I'm sure Reyes is just sitting over there smiling, going, so now you know what it's like. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody is destroying the mob cap right now. Why? Is your farm not doing as well? I've got a huge chunk of land that I left unlit so I could try and get villagers. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have sorry. spawned a <laughs> a's skeleton over there <laughs> sorry i've been just sitting out here plucking away at all the mobs that are spawning oh no you're fine i don't think any one person can kill the mob cap that bad uh well don't We're forget his mob it's... farm is down here by where i am okay so 50 for you 50 for him uh well again You've got two different caps. You've got the server cap with the number of mobs it's going to spawn in total. Yeah, and the no, island cap. Saying. Yeah. So you've got 50 that he's spawning, 50 that you're spawning. That's probably most of the, the world cap. At least for um, this area. I'd have to do research on server caps. Yeah. Hmm. Besides, I can, I can do other stuff. I don't have to do that right now. I can do that when I'm alone on the server. 
Oh, honestly, anytime you need a huge number of hostile mobs alone on the server is probably the best time to do it anyway. Oh, I wish you guys could have just saw that. What? So I come, I come out here to, to collect all the stuff that uh that I was shooting and getting all the loots. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a skeleton that was hiding just beyond my reach. I didn't see him. And as I come around a corner, I, that's when I saw him, he takes off. It literally, it looked like he was running. Uh, takes off running towards me, but ducks at the last second behind a stone so when I come around the corner to uh, to shoot him he's just sitting there and it looks like he's trying to peek around the corner just slowly oh. moving <laughs> and then as soon as I go to shoot at him he takes off <laughs> it's like oh my goodness it's like a, a different AI on that one think that a lot back when uh rest wore the jack skellington outfit oh <laughs> man that skeleton's moving awfully we oh never mind no it was it's the whole it's the whole reason why we started turning pvp off on our servers because we kept turning around seeing jack skellington and whacking it with an axe <laughs> sorry rest <laughs> i thought you're a skeleton <laughs> oh my goodness Good old days. Good old days. Mm hmm When the builds were a lot more square. <laughs> that, was, that was a while ago. I keep swearing that I can remember when they added the fancy stones, but I, I don't think I've been playing that long. Hmm. No, I think you joined us when they added the fancy stones. Yeah, I, I can't I can't quite remember. Of course I can't quite remember earlier today, so you know that's not saying much. <laughs> that not me? I don't remember much of anything today either, so <laughs> no, I mean you get a couple hours on a live stream. You're grumbling about something. Yeah, I don't know. Something with redstone dust. Yeah, the flower farm. That, oh. that took me a minute. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like Ray S, you know, <laughs> redstone with Ray S. <laughs> well, no, because you could actually uh, say what you were going to say bad. on chat. <laughs> exactly. Not, uh, like I said, not Reyes, uh, TVMA version, but, um... I'm feeling hated. seriously was, uh, thing uh hated. whacking my head on a desk. No, not hated. Just acknowledged. Yeah, no, we, we need you for the, uh... The Dark Roast edition. That's all. BRB, although you guys might be done by the time I get back. It's already 9.15. Yeah, I was getting ready to go do a quick tour and, and then sign off for the night. Cool. Peace out. Nighty night. Oh, since Reyes just walked away, let's... Uh...
take a peek at what she's got going over here. That's what she's doing. Her theme floors for the uh, for the trees. I guess Rest is using the uh, the diorite for something. And this guy. You could almost climb the uh, the vines down. I forgot, I, I can just do a uh, run down the walkway too. Except I think when I get to medics, there's still a gate up. Mm, I don't, I don't know if I closed it back or not. Let me get check. Oh, that was a little bit more of a fall than I realized. those towers last week and this is the building that you're working on earlier today right. oh, except the walkways over there it's the interiors I haven't really started the interior yeah yet. I meant to I meant to ask because I, I couldn't I had you on audio is this uh mm -hmm. stripped strip jungle yeah yep it's oak and strip jungle that's a lot of jungle. Um, have you really been converting that much of your sand into glass? Uh, no. I have a villager that I buy glass from. Ah, okay. Okay. Not gonna lie. I was getting a little worried about that. Now, granted, the first 80, 80 glass I had was converted sand. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I converted eight sand into glass. <laughs> Kept a couple for uh, for the window so I can do the challenge at some point. And uh, the rest I turned into glass bottles because I want to get a bee farm going as early as I can and start getting the honey blocks. Well, the, uh, the glass challenge isn't panes it's actual glass yeah no and i'm not i'm not even, i'm not even worried about the glass challenge not until i start getting some more reliable sources of dye yeah i have no problem with the dye except for anything that requires blue yeah you can buy it from the wandering trader if you're lucky and you can convert lapis into it, which you can buy from a cleric if you have one. Um, or just dig it up in the ore generator. Yeah, back here oh. is where I have my... Yeah, yeah, those guys. And so, along with uh, Mr. Soon-to-be in the iron farm. Yeah. Yeah, I would open the gate. Because I can't remember if that up. was if that was today or uh, last week. That you're talking about how the nitwit wouldn't breed with the other guy. It was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if I remember right, nitwits. I thought they I thought they would, but apparently not. Uh, I guess the other villagers have higher standards now. Yeah, I've, I've tried twice. Uh. Although I forgot to check and see how many beds you had in there, too, if that wasn't part of it. Three. I have three. Uh, try putting a fourth down. Because there should... I, I, f I forget what the algorithm is, but try, try putting a fourth down first before you declare him a loss. Because I know most of the villager breeders, it's two villagers and four beds. Okay. And we had 13 beds in the old trading hall 
for the 11 villagers that we got. Who got walled up like a cask of Montelato? That was... That, that's the entrance to uh, where I actually originally put the villagers. Oh, okay. I just didn't want something walking by and, and killing them. Gotcha. Something didn't get shut up. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I noticed your extended extensive system of locks and uh Yeah. Locks and gates. Yeah, that's because I keep thinking that everything's safe and all of a sudden it's not safe anymore. Uh yeah. I, I heard I heard the creeper earlier. I was even picking on you about it, but I think you were AFK at the time. And well, incidentally, make sure that um when you grow the the four or the two by two Oh the jungle? Trees. Yeah, the branch on the jungle tree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I don't you I don't use them for decoration. As soon as I grow them, I, I go ahead and uh, cut them down. Well, this is a lovely little Japanese villa. Yeah, Arcadius has done a really good job on his stuff. He's already logged off, so I can't get him to open doors for me. Alright, that must be the flower farm, as I can see from... The faint. <laughs> yeah. Give me just a second and I'll sleep. Oh yeah, this probably isn't the best place to be uh, meandering about without... Uh... <laughs> there you go. I'm sleeping. Thank you. It should be good. Yeah, I like this. I like the raw granite with the bone blocks. Those are bone blocks, right? Yeah. 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 I like the raw granite. Look at his his big build. He did the the bone blocks and then did the birch trap doors with it, and that looked really good. Yeah, except you can't see the bone blocks. Go inside. Yeah, I, I I'll double check, but I don't remember seeing them on the inside unless you fix that. Uh, if if so, then he took them out. Uh, after I looked at it. Yeah, because you, you get the stairwell on the inside, so all okay. you see is the stone on the stairwell. Yeah, he, he, he took it down then. But he had the bone blocks up and then had the uh, the birch trap doors over it. And yeah, because I, I saw that on his live stream, and it looked really nice. And then I wondered why he covered it up with the uh, trap doors. Yeah, it looks like he pulled those out and put torches under there. I guess he's dismantling his uh, cobble generator or moving it. Oh, uh, yeah. This is also going to be in my near future. As soon as I get enough quartz for the first observer. Get a little micro farm running on bone meal. With a, with a decently running mob farm, that, that should... Uh, Take care of everything very nicely. Oh. Let's return home. I guess 64 carrots wasn't enough. Wasn't enough for... Try to breed. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, it's either 8 or 16 carrots is all they need each. And if you give them any more than they need, they will consume all the excess. So if you continually give them much too much, they, they will burn through all of it a lot faster than you ever wanted them to. All right, well, well that's... I gave them 32 to begin with, and they just sat there staring at me. Uh, yeah, you got to give half to one, half to the other.
All right, so most of the platform's there. I gotta fill in the last little bit of platform. We've identified one slime chunk. I kind of hate that it's on the... Well, I gotta love hate that it's on the edge like that. I kind of love it because it leaves a lot more platform open to do stuff. I, I hate it because it makes building some aspects of the farm a little difficult. I can't put a, uh, a wall on the back without cutting into the spawning area. And uh, I'll continue my quest to find the chunks and figure out just how many slime chunks I have down here. Uh, I'm kind of low-key hoping there's only one. Although I can make use of more than one if I need, if if, uh, if it's available. I'm not opposed to that. Alright. With that, let me... Uh, there we go. I was looking for my credits button. Alright, so this is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. I live stream from the Coffee Craft server every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And on Fridays, I do Games Revisited. You might have heard me mention earlier in the stream about The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. That is the current game. We're still pretty early on. I've only got two of the three pendants. And that, so this Friday, I should be getting the third pendant and hopefully the Master Sword as well. In which case we can start questing into the dark world and all the fun that, that entails. Uh, lots of good fun. Blast from the past. And uh, this is going to keep going with uh, with the Skyblock. Hopefully I'll be getting some more produced episodes. Right now all I did was an episode zero that gives a baseline explanation of the setup that we currently have. So if you're not sure what we're running or how it all works... That, that's a good fundamentals of what we have set up. Uh, we have run into a few things that I need to fix. And at some point, I, I, I might do a video uh, on more of the technical end of the setup. One, once we got a few more of the kinks worked out. And uh, I, I need to contact the project organizer about a couple of things too. So that way they know. Um, <clears throat> so... If you follow the channel, you'll know when I go live because I'm hoping to do a little bit more on the server during the week too. Just depends on schedule. And either way, the live stream archives or the episodes go up on the YouTube channel. There's a link in the description below unless you're watching this on YouTube. In which case, while you're there, go ahead and click on subscribe. Do the bell thing if you want the notifications and all that good fun stuff. And uh, with that said and done, let me take a quick look and see if there's anybody available for a raid. It looks like Beast Lord is playing Monster Hunter Rise, so I'm going to pop up the title screen, stick with me just long enough to raid Beast Lord, tell him hello, and uh, if you haven't already, give him a follow. He's good people, and uh, well worth it. So let me, uh, let me get the title card up and then we'll go from there.